Despite their calm appearance, reenactors at Fort McCavitt are preparing for an invasion from an army of school children. And you're going to step into it with your whole body and go all the way through. It's the way that we captivate those young minds. Especially when those young minds meet the Texas Camel Corps. Very fashionable to cameras. He enjoys crowds and doing presentations as we're doing today. This is a quirky story. A story that camel owner Doug Baum says began in the 1850s when the U.S. Army brought in camels from North Africa to help settle the Texas frontier. Daily, weekly, you could have seen camel caravans parked in front of the Alamo. Before sharing that story, Doug must battle a heaping hump of misinformation. Here's the cool thing about being a camel, guys. They'll tell you the same tired old stories. Camels spit, they store water in their hump. Neither are true. Camels can't spit, in fact, and it's fat in their hump. Camels don't get fat here like your Uncle Fred. Okay? <laughs> you know the one who sits around watching NASCAR all weekend? All right. That's for Papa. Every family's got one, right? But not every family has what Gil Hernandez has. Here's my history. Everybody see that picture, right? Great granddad, Santiago Tafoya. Gil's great grandpa was a Texas scout who trained camels before, during, and after the Civil War. For someone to work at that was very unique. It wasn't a bull, it wasn't a cow, it wasn't a Mustang. It was a camel in Texas. Now, Gil follows those unique footsteps, which, by the way, are never behind the camel. <laughs> What is that? We've got camel brand that I established, camel dung and camel hair. So There's that's camel poop. Yes, sir. It's part of history. It's part of my history. It's part of my heritage. I had to do something real extraordinary. Just dropped a little history there. You're leaving your mark. It's been left Drop. several places. <laughs> By dropping that history around Texas, Doug and Gil give the kids of the present the present of the past. Yes, ma'am. Do you live here? The struggle we have is that we're in competition with an iPad or Candy Crush or Trivia Crack. So to get these stories across to these young kids, to make that history book come to life, these are the ways we do it. If you'd like to experience the U.S. Army Camel Experiment for yourself, you can follow me on Facebook slash Streets Corner and at Twitter at Streets Corner with Doug, Gil, Richard, and Irene back there. JT Street, Fox News at 9.